Hey, Dennis of 1287 back again, and this time we are going to do, uh, uh, what are we going to do? Oh, yeah, our second one of Family Feud for the Super NES. So far, so far, this is actually our second one, and we're going to do our first game, and I got Jeff Robo and Jay to help out. Anyhow, let's get to the game. Let's get to the game. the family of course with the sky family but here we go who are we up against the alpha family name a product made for the opposite sex that you use on your body again name a product made for the opposite sex that you use on your body How about a tampon? <laughs> My cow <God>, went on. Fucking hell, this game is about to turn out to be horny. Eh, oh no. No, I didn't get it. Oh wow, 2000. <laughs> 2000 dollars. We're losing this one. Name an accident that usually has lovely face on the cover. How about people? <laughs> Number one. Name something that's often used and now seen as an environmental threat. Half of fuel. Oh. I give up. Good answer. Cause I just get you on strike. Here we go. Name something that has holes in it. I put a little ball. But no. Chris G. Oh, how about another good one? And that's the number one answer. To finish this up, name sent the parents safe from the first baby to you for the second. Diaper. Never know. Ah. Uh. Oh boy. So if we win this, we'll play for seven thousand dollars. But if they get it, they'll play for fourteen thousand. And all to play for fast money. We gotta play the feud. 
Now this time, the board is filled because 100 people, top 7, top 12 answers are up on the board. Here we go. Give me a magazine with one word name. People. Number two, one could be seventeen. Number twelve, we got the option play or pass. Alright, give me a magazine with one word. How about time? Yes! Number one! Give me a one word magazine. How about Vogue? Number four. How about GQ? That's a good one. Give me a magazine with one word name. People. Yeah. Are you guys there? Jay, Jab, Robo. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Right. Are you guys still there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Because it says give me a magazine with one word name. GQ. 17 set there. So we got that, Vogue, People, and Time. There's like eight answers left. I think of some good ones too. Oh. How about us? I know, no, no. I'm free going now. That's what you know. I know people are stuck there too. That was number two the last time. I'm trying to think what else. I want to say Call Magazine, but I can't figure it out. <laughs> Give me a magazine with one word name. Ah. Album filming day, it's it gonna be a lot. Give me a magazine with one more title. I give up. Here we got 52 points. Be with life, cosmopolitan glamour, newsweek, playboy, us. I did. I thought about us, and I thought, thought that was gonna be up there, but it's not. But it is actually up there. Wow. 52. 
to zero. Gotta try again on the board. Round two. Dollar vials are doubled. Point vials are doubled. Top five. What activity would you think most people would do after they retire? Go. Number two. Only one still will be. Travel. Number one. Play or pass. They're gonna play. So what activity would you think most people do after they retire? They're gonna say weed. Number five. Garden. Number three are left. They get they get the points if not. Well, this is gonna be often. No guess. Strike one. Two more. It can send to us. So what activity do you think? And no guess. If I give up. I have returned. Alright. Alright, so question one tip. Now we're doing Family Feud for the Super NES. So what activity would you think most people do after they retire? What activity? Yeah. Golf. Golf is up there. Golf is up there. Um Golf, travel, read, and garden. And it's number three left. Oh, only number three left. Ah! Uh, did you say... It's, did you say anything about spending time with grandkids? No. Try that. Grandkids. I got the point. Fish. Fish. Fishing. Oh well. Fifty-two. One seventy-four. <laughs> Top four answers were tripling the points. So here we go. Name a place that begins with the word North. North Pole. No. I'm place to... Oh, well, we could go with no Paul. <laughs> Number one, baby, we'll play! Name a place that begins with the word North? North Carolina. Thank you! Number two. I hope it's number two. North Carolina, go for it. It's gotta be up there. Number two, North Carolina. Show it, show it. Number two, baby. North Dakota. North Dakota.
The Brigan number three, we're playing for fast money. Oh, that's fast quick. Uh, oh, North Korea. Are you serious? It, it says with North, so name any name a place that begins with the word North. Oh, that's true. Just say name a place. North Korea could as well be up there. That was a try, it's that was not. a try, that was a try. We still yeah. have two strut. Oh, we still have two chances. Two chances. So name a place that begins with the word North. Uh, let's see. North. North Pole's number one. North Dakota four. North Carolina two. Shoot. Um, uh, 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 uh. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Um, how about No. Mm -hmm. No. Got North Dakota, North Carolina, North Pole. Of course, North Pole has happens to be number one. Northwest, no. And I thought North Korea would take it because it's name of place. That's true. There was any in constellation. To the man. Oh! What about North America? North America's up there. We're playing fast money, if not, second strike. North America! It's fast yes, money! Second one, now we start. Thank you. And now who's gonna play fast money? Okay, who's first? Now who's going second? Who's going second? Wants to go second in fast money. Yes, I will. I need Gene. Oh, I can hear Eugene again. There we are. Anyway, Eugene, uh, about what you were saying, is that for uh, a different game maker? 
Yeah, it's created by ITV Studios LPD. Alright, okay. Let me see if I can find it here. I might be able to ISP the damn thing and get it. Oh yeah, it's on the Google App Store. Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm ready. We got you team, we got Coley, we got everybody. Name something people wear that needs tying. Uh, name something that people wear that needs tying. Uh, a necktie. Name a part of a car. Name the part of the name the part of the car. Yeah. Uh, uh, the windshield. Yeah, right back. All right. Name a kind of store and shopping centers. Hmm. Uh, uh, a clothing store. Okay, we'll put clothing. So that's... I think that's five. I think this is the last one. Name a country in Europe. Name a country in Europe? Yeah. Uh, the United Kingdom. Oh, no, no, this is gonna be the one. Number five. Alright, give it to me. Name a food that tastes good with waffles. Name a food name a food that tastes good with waffles? Yeah. Bullshit. Nice. <laughs> 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 One second, that needs to tie. Well, name, name a clothing. I need some tie, and you say necktie. Thirty one. Name part of a car. Wheel. Name kind of store. Clothing store. Nine Kingdom. Out. And bullshit is out. Alright, Eugene. Alright, Eugene. Go for it. Alright, Eugene. Okay. Okay, same uh, five. If you repeat one of Jake's answer, it'll be. Eh, eh. Let me try yep. again. Here we go. Name something people wear that means tie-in. Uh. Shoelaces. That's a good one. Name a part of a car. Um, the engine. Name a kind of store and shopping centers. Um. Um. A bookstore? Name a country in Europe. Hmm. Vive la France! Name a food that tastes good with waffles. Hmm. Uh Michael Biden's anus. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, uh, how about chicken? 
If we were to poke fun at someone, I would have also said bacon. I've got an idea, Eugene. I'll talk to you after this. Oh, yeah. I forgot. But I do those that. Too late, then. 52. Attention. 27. Four. Now we need 50. Now we need 7. Oh! oh 193! I, mean, I, I thought chicken, chicken was, was a good, good answer, answer, Eugene. I, I thought, thought it really was. was. Yeah. Oh! Oh! 965 for $1,965. That was a good one, too. I thought chicken was... I couldn't do it, too. I thought I was going to bacon.